Hey guys, what is up? Ioki here. So we've got an interesting happening to this morning, guys. We've got the brand new champion who's apparently named Gwyn. First gameplay ever. Uh, if you guys aren't aware, there's something called the League Partner Program and Red Mercy and some other of the larger content creators are actually able to get kind of like a sneak peek at champion and then of course are put on embargo, which means they're not allowed to share it. Well, oopsie, Red Mercy accidentally shared it. So, you know, at this point, it's out there on the internet. People are already re-uploading, already talking about it on Twitter. So let's go ahead and start this from the start. We are going to be watching this kind of like through Red Mercy's perspective. So, you know, we're going to have to uh, listen to his commentary. You know, it could be All right, so there is a cinematic teaser out there already, which looks really, really cool. Actually, people were thinking that the new champion is going to be Isolde. Apparently, the new champion is a doll that Isolde made, which is kind of like a really cool twist. They definitely, no, I don't think anybody saw this coming. So, let's get right into it. it this, it's kind of just like a cinematic opener, but uh, there is gameplay here. I don't know. I don't know if this is her or not. So she's like a seamstress. She's got scissors and. Ooh, she's got like some sort of magic. Oh my god. Okay, this looks straight out of like something like Kingdom Hearts or something. She's literally carrying a gigantic pair of scissors. Alright, so here's her kit. Holy lord. Wow. So, okay, so here's the first full look at the champion. She looks very, very anime. Uh, I, I can tell you right now, people are going to love cosplaying this character. People, this is going to be a fan favorite to cosplay, I can tell you that right now. She looks like she's got, like, some Alice in Wonderland vibes, uh, and she kind of looks like a doll, which is kind of cool, because I guess she's like a doll brought to life by Isolde, who is the wife of the Ruined King. I really like that twist. I, I thought it was going to be just kind of boring and predictable to just have Isolde in the game, but... I think it's kind of cool that she, like, brought this doll to life. Okay, here's more gameplay. She's, she's got a dash. I'm not sure what this big AoE thing is. It looks sort of like... It's probably like an AoE that, like, empowers her or gives her a spell shield or something. It looks like she uses it whenever she's about to get CC'd. But let's take a look at this. Alright, so... Snip, snip! <laughs> she shoots something at him and then uses this AoE. Doesn't get CC'd by the, uh... Swain pole. And then that looks like an execution of some sort. Yeah, she uses this whenever she's going to get CC'd. So I'm guessing she, this, like, allows her to not be affected by anything outside of the area. Because if you notice, she never uses it when people are, like, actually in melee range. She uses it to possibly spell shield herself from the Swain pull and from the uh, the Maokai ultimate. Get on top of Maokai. Boom, boom. Kills both of them. I love that snip, snip. All right, so right there we see a dash. She dodges the cocoon. Boom. I'm guessing there's some sort of reset. She uses like these scissors to attack, which is pretty cool, actually. I agree, Red Mercy. It is cool. I don't know if that's Viego's wife or what's up. I mean, is it? Maybe? I don't know. I mean, she is kind of like a shot. I don't know if this is... So, at some point during the video, uh, Red Mercy eventually basically admits that he has played this champion. He knows a lot more about it than he's uh, kind of letting on here. Um, but he's, you know, prone to NDA, so he's not admitting that. Um... He does admit that she's an AP champion, so we've got a new AP mage, it looks like. Um, I'm not really sure what role this champion is meant to be played. We've she seen gameplay of her in the top lane and in the mid lane, and then in a team fight in the bot lane. So, obviously, we're going to be playing her as a support. But, uh, guys, let me know down in the comments what role you guys think she's primarily going to be playing. Small, small sneak peek, I guess. Small, small reveal. She's an AP champion. Yeah, there it is. So, he, he admits she's an AP champion. Um... So that's pretty cool. So her, I'm guessing her, she's mid lane, she, guys. She has like AP ratios and things like that, and she is, will more or less build AP. But that's all I'll say. It's really now, cool. I right? can't this really, really tell which. This looks like an ultimate. This this just visually looks like an ultimate. So I'm assuming this is an ultimate, some sort of execute. This I'm guessing is her Q W or E, and it gives her like a spell shield or invulnerability. Obviously, this this AOE thing like empowers her in some way because she keeps using it whenever she's in combat. Yeah, exactly. What is that? And it kind of moves that? with her, if you notice. Like she puts this area out and then watch the that's all I'll say. Now her kid and everything looks confusing, right? It moves, right? So this is like this big bubble around you might be going like what is that exactly? What I am do? What, what is that? She's even firing off over here. That I'm unfortunately I don't think I'm about to really say too. So much we don't he, you know, he basically drags this out. He says, I can't I can't admit it, guys. I can't admit it. Or I, I can't I can't tell you exactly what it is. So he I, I think he pretty much has played the champion. He knows how the kit works. Our, um, I am not entirely sure how this kit works, but I think we've seen all four abilities. She's got that dash, she's got that scissor move, 
I believe this is her ultimate, and then she's got this AOE. So that that would make a uh, four four abilities. Not really sure what her passive is, Which but her, I'm sure we're going to be getting it v revealed very very soon. I just wanted to upload this as as kind of like a <laughs> sneak peek. I'll give you, you know? guys a hint. Think of like, um like think of like a Zen ultimate. Oh yeah. Okay. So he does say when it comes to the circle, he says think of the Zen ultimate. So I don't know if that means like she she can't be hurt by anything outside of the circle because that's basically what Zen Zhao's ultimate does. Um, but yeah, guys, we'll, I'll keep you guys updated as the, um, as the, uh, you know, as the situation develops, if we get any more new information, but uh, I just wanted to put this up on Aoki Plus, and I hope you guys enjoyed the little sneak peek. Red Mercy, try to keep a, you know, tighter lid on these types of things. Uh, take it easy, guys. Peace!